Hello, my name is Max Tallinn, and this is a short games essay. So it occurred to me that the essayist and the gamer are, in some cases, quite a lot alike. Because often when a gamer plays a game, they try to assay the game. That is, they test the game, they weigh the game, they try to outthink the game, to work out the kinks of the game, to discover the rules, to call the game's bluff, to crack the game's codes, its hidden algorithmic stuff. And maybe, just maybe, if they keep busy, stay tough, something will click once they're dizzy enough. I say dizzy because this game is absurdal, not Wordle. I find absurdal a more interesting hurdle. With Wordle, there's only one solve a day. So little, I think it's overhyped. Whereas absurdal is programmed to evolve as you play and avoid whatever letters you typed. That's right, the game responds to you. And so, on you go, fewer and fewer letters to choose from, hoping some turn green until by process of elimination, it's egret, I guess, like the bird? Okay. But if for some reason you regret that word, here's another difference. You can delete back and make the program take a different path. Dig back to the root and replace it with, let's say, a tuber? Well, hold on, actually, maybe this time it's fewer. Oh, no, it's even better than that. It's a palindrome. It's refer. Oh, that's the kind of word I prefer. And this reversibility is what I found when I tinkered with the game. It has this weird way of reading back and forth the same. We all know lots of reversible words. The word pools, spelled backwards, is sloop. The word loops, spelled backwards, is spool. But absurdal seems to have reversibility built into it on a larger scale. Since it's programmed to evade the letters you pick, each word you've played whittles down its word list until almost every word's been nixed. And so I thought, maybe that process of elimination is itself reversible. Maybe there are whole games that play the same backwards and forwards. And so take a good look, because on screen is one such game. It plays forward and back the same. <clears throat> Call me a navel gazer, but I wager maybe every chain turns round, folks. Like a loop of thread on a spool, like a sloop caught in a whirlpool. Well, okay, not every chain is reversible, of course, but these chains are pretty easy to build, to derive. And that's what I love about simple rules, simple algorithms. When iterated, they spool out patterns unanticipated. And that's why I play with words, with anything. I can't imagine absurdal is reversible on purpose, but there it is, surprising elegance just beneath the surface.